Hi guys, yeah. Today we're going to speak about the opening chord of the title track of the record uh, with the same title from 1964 by the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. So this record is important for a few reasons. First of all, because all the 13 songs are all written by Lennon McCartney. So no chorus songs in it, just every song written by the band. Another reason, it, this is the first album where George Harrison introduced his brand new Rickenbacker 12 string guitar. And you can hear it. You can actually hear it. It's something that is so peculiar in this album. First song, the title track, A Hard Day's Night. The song is opening with a chord that is so iconic that you can immediately recognize it. Just hearing the, that chord, you know which song it is. What happened in the studio in 1964? Probably nobody knows for sure how this chord was played. In my opinion, is George Harrison on Rickenbacker electric 12 string guitar, John Lennon on acoustic guitar and Paul McCartney on bass. In some videos you can see the Beatles playing the song live, but I'm pretty sure that in 1964 they didn't bother at all to try to play the chord exactly the way it was recorded in the studio. You can see, for example, John Lennon playing a sort of F at 9, probably. I don't want to be too technical, but I guess that the chord John Lennon was playing live was the same chord George Harrison was playing and just Paul was on the D note on his bass guitar. But again, if you think about the Beatles in 1964 and 1965 touring, they couldn't hear anything. So they didn't care less about playing perfectly the way the song was played in the studio. As well, there are some videos where you can see the Paul McCartney's band playing the song live and even though as well one guitar player is playing a 12 string guitar and the other one is playing a 6 string guitar, they are doing exactly the same chord and Paul is on the D note on bass. <laughs> So, well, you know what, <laughs> as far as it works, it's all good. But my idea that in the studio, things went slightly different. And I will show you my way of playing this chord. So I don't have, unfortunately, a 12 string guitar. I have a Rickenbacker that it's over there. Yes, you can see this one. It's pretty similar to the one played by George Harrison, but you know, it's not the same. It's not 12 string guitar. Um, so I will play the F at nine with G added on this Rickenbacker guitar. That is something like, like this. But on the acoustic guitar, I will play actually a D sus, that it's actually what I think John Lennon played, something like that. And then on bass, I will play the D note played by Paul McCartney. Well, hope you like it, enjoy it, and please write in the comments whatever you think, if I'm right or I'm wrong, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It would be really a huge support. Thanks so much. See you soon.